Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Pranita and I have a wonderful story for you called The Little Maid Serves God. Today's memory verse is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. May God strengthen you in every good deed and word. The message for today's story is we serve God by what we do and say. Do you know how to serve God? The little maid served God by what she did and said. The little slave girl carefully lifted the perfume bottles and dusted them. The bottles usually sparkled in the light that streamed through the bedroom windows. But not today. Today the curtains were closed and Mrs. Naaman was sitting on her bed in the darkness crying softly. The little maid knew why. Captain Naaman had leprosy. The leprosy made white spots on his skin, and he could not feel things with his fingers and toes, and this made Mrs. Naaman very, very sad. The little maid tiptoed quietly to the bed. I wish Master Naaman would go see the prophet in my country, she whispered. Prophet Elisha would heal him of his leprosy. Mrs. Naaman wiped her eyes. What? What are you talking about, child? she asked. So the little maid told Mrs. Naaman all about the prophet Elisha who lived in Israel. The Lord of Heaven works miracles through the prophet Elisha, she said. Then the little maid told Mrs. Naaman all she had learned from her parents about the true and living God. Mrs. Naaman scooted off the bed. Bring me some water to wash my face, she said. I must talk with my husband. Captain Naaman was the commander of the king's army. So Naaman told the king what the little maid had told his wife. Go, said the king, go and visit the prophet. I will send a letter to the king of Israel for you. Captain Naaman took silver and gold coins and ten sets of beautiful clothes with him. These would be gifts to the people in Israel who helped him. But when the king of Israel read the letter from the king of Syria, he was deeply troubled. The king of Israel knew that he could not heal Naaman, he didn't understand why the king of Syria thought he could heal Naaman. He was very worried. What if Naaman wasn't healed? Would the king of Syria attack Israel again? Prophet Elisha heard about Naaman's visit. Elisha sent Israel's king a message. Why are you so upset? Have Naaman come visit me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Prophet Elisha knew that he couldn't heal Naaman, but God could. Prophet Elisha and the little maid both wanted Captain Naaman to know about the true God. The little maid showed her love of God as she helped Mrs. Naaman in everything she said. She loved to share God with others. And you can serve God too by what you do and say. That is how others will know that you love God. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.